In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use the selection tool and extract the object from the background. You'll notice that the koala bear has hair and fur that makes it even more difficult to use the traditional selection tools. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using the extract filter. The first step we want to do is to drag the layer down to the duplicate layer and we'll be working actually on the copy. We're going to go to the filter drop down menu and select extract. We can then change the size of our brush maximizing or decreasing. I think I like the size of the brush about where it was. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go around and select very tediously around the edge. Right now I'm using a mouse. I'm just kind of going around and getting the best I can. Coming along the edge here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to circle around. Come back and intersect there. Now I'm going to choose the fill tool, which is over to the left. Click inside the image that I want to select. Click OK. Now I'm going to hide the background image and we'll see that this has been selected out. I see a little bit of fragmenting around these areas here. I could go back and repair those, but for this tutorial, I'm going to just go ahead and move forward. I do, however, see that this need, needs to be cropped a little bit, so I'm going to use the Crop tool just to bring that in a slight bit. Crop that. So in this example, I'm going to create a background color. I could, however, replace the background color or the background layer with another object. Bringing the layer we just created below our copy layer, which we've extracted our background, we're going. This is where we're going to add a color. So I'm going to edit, fill, and I'm just going to choose um, the fo foreground color. And you'll notice that that fills that area. We could have also replaced this with a background image. For example, um, we could place them in a zoo or in Australia or what have you by filling the background layer with an image. But this shows you quickly how to work with more refined edges and using the extract tool.